primary school pupils in Arua district had a rare opportunity of debating issues affecting them in their first ever children's parliament. More than 100 of them from 246 public schools participated in the session. The event was organized by district officials and development partners. The speaker of Arua district, Sulaiman Anduma, opened the session by inviting the honorable youngsters to present their views to the district leadership and the sub-county chiefs. You know, we as girls, menstruation cannot tell that, hey, prepare, I'm coming. So anytime when you're in school, when you're in class, your menstruation may start, and after all, there are no sanitary towels for you at school to use. So you will decide to go home. Hi, pupil teacher ratio. The teacher may be unable to know each child and understand their problems. So, the, seat, the Honorable Speaker, let there be budget allocated to recruit more teachers. Firstly, I would begin with inadequate water in schools. Yet this water are the important, is the important issue for improving personal hygiene. Some of our girls, you see our latrines are dirty, and water is the one used to clean them. By that, you see girls urinate while squatting. Because the latrines are dirty, they will squat and they will get diseases. Onduma says providing a forum for children to exercise their freedom of expression on issues that affect them is the way to go. As for a child in the form decision making, the idea is to mainstream all of this into our plans. It will mean that the local government integrate activity of children in all government programs and projects. One of the challenges that children continue to face as they seek to exercise their freedom of expression as provided for by the law is the attitude of some parents and members of the public who still regard these freedoms as being in discipline. It affects us because it will make you to be silent because anytime you speak about your rights, they don't really put it into consideration. That will make you to keep quiet on the, on the bad experiences you go through. Harriet Akuru, a UNICEF child protection specialist, says the changing context in which children are brought up is a challenge given the advancement of technology. Having these memory cards inserted into phones and are watching all kinds of materials uh, in that telephone, you know, this presents new challenges of parenting. And which is why I think also the Ministry of Gender and Ministry of Health and a couple of others are coming up with this new parenting guidelines and I would be very happy to see how that will uh, play out in terms of uh, uh, the attitude of parents eventually if that gets uh, to be rolled out. The UN Chief of Field in charge of Northern Region says there is need to roll out similar programs across the country to give children the opportunity to express their concerns. I think that is a big step but we need to continue having this kind of dialogue and go at the parish level, have a discussion with parents, school and the district to see how continuously we can keep going on. Aaron Mukama, NTV Weekend Edition.